Hi there, that's right. It's the great and glorious, soon to be famous, one day Nick Dutch back on the camera yet again for another delightful tarot reading. And today we've got a very peculiar variety of question, all right? We've got an individual whose name I'm not going to mention, whose channel name I'm not going to mention, who's inquiring after two people. One of them, their initial letter is K. The other one, their initial letter is S. And the question is, have these two people slept together? I'm still going to do the reading for you anyway, and yes, I'll just tell you what the reading says. That's, that's what I do, okay? But we've also got to think about why you're asking this question and what you seek to get from this particular reading. Now, if one of these two people, either K or S, is someone that you've got uh, a desire to be in a relationship with, you've got to ask yourself why you are assuming that these people are sleeping together and what impact that might have upon you if I was to say yes or if I was to say no. You've got to think about what is the driving force behind wanting to know from me. You've got to think about the benefits that me telling you yes or no would have upon you. And you've also got to think about what your relationship with either K or S really is if you're going to think about whether these two people are sleeping together. These are questions you need to ask yourself. For instance, if I was in a position whereby I was in a relationship with someone and I suspected that individual was sleeping with somebody else, I would have to think about, do I still love the person that I am suspecting? Does the person who I'm suspecting have enough love and regard for me to be able to treat me appropriately and behave appropriately towards me? And how does that knowledge itself affect my relationship with them? And what decisions I can make about my connection with the person I'm suspecting? All right? Let alone what's actually happening between those two people and whether that has an impact upon my life or whether that does not have an impact upon my life. It's complex. But one thing you've got to think about when you're asking a question like this is why you're asking. What it is you cho you, you're trying to get from the, the answer itself. And what does it mean to your relationship with these two people, the fact that you're actually asking the question. This is important stuff. And that's what you've got to think about first and foremost. Doesn't matter who you are, male, female, singular, plural, young, old, rich, poor, Think about why you're asking the question. What's prompting you to ask the questions? And what self-knowledge does the very fact that you need to ask the questions say about you and your interaction with these people? All right? But let's see what the reading says. Going back to the Book of Thoth because I like it. It's comfortable in my hands. What the hell? It's, it's mine. Let's see what it says. Signs for K. Signs for S. Now, the, within this particular type of reading, it's the cards which signify the forces between you, which is the most important thing. So, if we have signs of passion or lust, which we don't have here, but what do we actually have? Let's, let's have a quick look and a quick think about the meanings of the signs and the forces between you, okay? Signs on K's side of things. Feels a bit fragile. A sense of sensitivity, a sense of confusion, a sense of... Yes, there is love there for the other individual, but there's no sense of it being that powerful for it to be precipitating a sexual relationship. And the other individual has a desire to make something occur. But again, it's not looking passionate. The thing which defines the energy between them is more friendliness or friendship rather than anything else. Is it that close? Well, no, the, the friendship signs are not really that intellectually driven. It's not that deep, okay? They, they haven't found out tons about each other and have decided to be together because it's so beautiful, it feels right, and all the rest of that. It's just, that's just not the kind of energy I'm getting here. That's not the kind of meaning I'm getting here. But there's still a sense of there being a bond between the two of them. Now, that might mean something, but as far as are they sleeping together, the reading is not being quite that blatant. And if the reading is not being that blatant, I would have to turn around to you and say it's highly unlikely, in accordance with what I'm seeing here, that these two people are in fact sleeping together. I just don't feel that. Alright? But what I would say is, think carefully about why you're asking me. Alright. Now that'll be all for this one particular reading for the moment. As is traditional, if you have not requested this reading, but you'd like to have one yourself, 
send me a private message, not a comment, but a private message through YouTube, and I'll be more than happy to, to help, okay? Rate, comment, subscribe, by all means, all right? Favorite this video, um, you know, send it out on Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, and any other networking sites you might be a part of, okay? Just to show everyone what a real good reading can actually be like, and I'll speak to you again soon. I bid you good fortune, God and or Goddess, and or none of the above bless. Nick Dutch signing out for now.